Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Tutorial Test Prep. Today we will be going over lesson number four on how to use Desmos for the digital SAT math. Minimum and maximum. Let's get started. So if you didn't know, um, to find the minimum or maximum of a quadratic, um, whenever a question asks you that, it generally wants you to find the vertex, right? The point, the point on the very edge of the parabola. Okay, we call that the vertex. So uh, whenever you see a question like this, you can just type it into Desmos and click on the minimum or maximum, wherever you think the vertex is, as long as it's a quadratic question. So for this one, we're going to type in y equals x squared minus 14x plus 22. You're going to see most of the time this shows up for quadratics, but you, in theory, you could do this for any function. Uh, so let's try this one. So we're going to hop over to Desmos, and we're going to type in y equals x squared minus 14x plus 22. And I can't really see where the vertex is, so of course I'm going to use my scroll wheel to zoom out. And ah, it looks like it's down here. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And then this is where the minimum is, at the very bottom, the vertex, right? So I just click on it, and then I click on it again. And it tells me the vertex is 7 comma negative 27. OK, so let me go back to the question and write that down. So 7 comma negative 27. And notice how it's asking for what value of x does it reach its minimum. So we want to go with 7. So the final answer for this one is 7. Remember, if it asked you what's the minimum or what's the maximum, and it doesn't mention x at all, you want the y value. Okay. So if this question said, for what is the minimum of y, or what is the minimum of f of x? It wants the y value. That's the default. But if it specifies what value of x, it wants the x value. OK, great. So let's try a couple more. So pause this video. See if you can solve it using Desmos. All right. So the function, again, we're just going to type it in and click on the vertex. So. 4x squared minus 50x. I'm going to type it in exactly as it's written. So f of x equals 4x squared minus 50x plus 126. And this is really great, because as you can see, right, this is not a multiple choice question. So you can get a, a free response question, right, just by knowing this. Anyway, I'm going to zoom out so I can find the vertex. Ah, it looks like it's down here. This is our minimum. So let's click on it twice. And it tells us that the minimum is 6.25 comma negative 30.25. So let's write that. 6.25 comma negative 30.25. Hopefully I copied that down right. And you see now it says, what value of x does it reach the minimum? So again, we want the x value for this one. So it's 6.25. And that's the answer. OK, let's do one more. So this actually is two questions at once. It's a minimum or maximum question, but it's also a function transformation question. I'm going to go over that more in a later video. But for now, just trust me, you can do a funct function transformation just by typing it in. So let's go to Desmos. And we're going to do f of x equals, what is it, 4x squared uh, plus 64x plus 262. And But the question doesn't ask us about f of x. It asks us about g of x equals f of x plus 5. So you can actually do that just by typing it into, again, going to make a future video about that. But for now, just trust me. And just to prevent confusion, I'm going to unhighlight f of x. I only want to look at g of x. And it wants to know the minimum. OK, so we're going to find the vertex again. Let's zoom out. Ah, it's over here. Vertex is over here. Let's click on it. And it is negative 13 comma 6. So let's, let's write that down. Negative 13 comma 6. Again, it says for what value of x. So we're going to go with the x value, which is negative 13. And that is our answer, answer choice A. Again, if it said, what is the minimum of g of x, or what is the maximum of g of x? 
you want the you, you want the y value, okay? It just so happened that in these questions they were asking for the x value. They totally could have asked you for the y value. They just would have left out that part for what value of x. So just keep that in mind. You'd hate to get this question wrong just because you mixed up x and y. I wouldn't be surprised if on a question, for example, six were like a, a trap answer. Okay, great. One quick thing before we wrap up. Um, none of these questions actually, they were all minimum questions. So I just want to go over like, I don't know, an example of a minimum question. So um, y equals negative two x squared plus three or something like that. Um, and let's do, I don't know, why don't we do plus six x or something like that. It's not gonna be, it's not gonna come out nicely, but the point is, you can do this for a downward facing parabola too. You can do it to find a maximum. So I just wanted to show you, it's the exact same process. You just click on it twice. So the maximum for this one, the vertex is 1.5 comma 7.5. The maximum is the y value, that's 7.5. And then the x value where it reaches the maximum is 1.5. So just make sure you understand that wording because you know, clicking on the point, very straightforward, right? But um, you do have to think a little bit and make sure you select either the X value or the Y value, depending on how the question is phrased. Great, that completes the lesson. Please like and subscribe for more digital SAT math content. If you're interested in my tutoring services, the link to my website will be in the description. I tutor all sections of the SAT and all math subjects from about seventh grade to AP slash early college level. Thanks for stopping by and good luck studying.